Hello and welcome to the CEO message for August. Uh, hard to believe we're already there. I think we've all gone through a very busy political time, certainly watching the conventions in the United States and trying to discern the meaning of everything going on in the uh, political evolution there. Quite exciting times. Uh, here in Australia, we've had a number of important visitors. I mentioned uh, Joe Biden, the vice president, who was here in uh, July. And since then, we've had the Republican governor of the state of Nevada, Brian Sandoval, uh, who visited Melbourne, uh, Sydney, and Brisbane, and did a, uh, a number of events with, uh, with AmCham along the way, as well as the United States Secretary of Transportation, Anthony Fox, who did a spectacular roundtable earlier this week uh, in uh, Melbourne, at which he talked about plans to involve Australia in the um, development of American uh, infrastructure. So we're always pleased to be a bridge between uh, American political leaders and life here in Australia, and we'll continue to do so. I should mention uh, how grateful we are and how important it is to have relationships with key players in the U.S. mission in Australia. They are our essential partners in so much of what we do. And I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank a number of them uh, for, the, for their service, which is about to end in Australia, or just has. Uh, and also to welcome their successors as they begin their lucky assignments in this lucky country, Australia. Uh, here in Sydney, we'll be saying uh, farewell in just a few days to Hugo Lorenz, a uh, former ambassador who's been an absolutely outstanding consul general for New South Wales and Queensland since 2013. He's headed off to head our uh, diplomatic mission in Afghanistan. And then we also recently said goodbye to Cynthia Griffin, uh, consul general for, for Western Australia, uh, who's moving on to China. I'd like to welcome their successors. In uh, Sydney, uh, Valerie Fowler will be uh, with us sometime, I believe, late in September. And uh, in the coming weeks, we'll also be uh, welcoming to Perth, uh, Rachel Cook. Um, in the embassy in Canberra, we've had a massive transition. Uh, the ambassador, John Barry, has announced his departure sometime later this year, and we will cherish the remaining uh, months of his service to Australia and hope to do a number of good events. Uh, in fact, have at least one scheduled on the 23rd of August in Brisbane when he'll be speaking to our membership there. But we have a new Deputy Chief of Mission, uh, James, or Jim Caruso, who is no stranger to Australia. He was part of the uh, negotiating team for the Free Trade Agreement back in 2003, 2004 uh, or so, and has uh, served with great distinction in our embassies in places like Bangkok and Jakarta. Uh, Jim uh, just joined the mission, uh, I think, last month. Uh, and we are planning a series of events to introduce him to the AmCham community in Sydney, in Melbourne, in Perth, in Brisbane, in Adelaide during the first few months of his tenure. So please be alert to different opportunities to uh, meet and welcome uh, Jim to Australia. Now uh, this, I think, will go down as AmCham's year of innovation missions. Uh, we uh, had a great one in uh, June around, uh, around Sydney. Uh, and we're putting the finishing touches on our uh, annual innovation mission to the United States, going to uh, Seattle, Washington, and Silicon Valley at the end of October. We start on the 30th of October in Seattle. We've got a great program, sort of best of Seattle. I mean, the uh, Everett factory where the Dreamliner is made by Boeing, we'll start there. We'll spend the, the better part of the afternoon at Microsoft. We'll visit the Bill and Melinda Gates uh, Foundation to see how they're revolutionizing uh, philanthropy uh, in the world. Uh, we'll visit uh, Amazon Web Services. And then we'll spend uh, an evening looking at innovators who are associated with the University of Washington uh, before we move on on the 2nd of November to Silicon Valley. Uh, there we expect to visit uh, companies like uh, Tesla, uh, Salesforce, Airbnb, uh, quite a panoply of great innovative companies uh, around San Francisco Bay uh, for you to come and visit. Then on the 6th of October, we have an innovation mission around Melbourne. We want our members to know just as well what's happening on the innovation scene in Australia as they 
know in the United States from our trips there. And then uh, we also plan on the 6th of December something, block your calendar, because we will be doing a medical innovation mission around Sydney on Tuesday, the 6th of December. Um, and uh, this will be something you can't miss, particularly if you have an interest or engagement in the life sciences uh, ecosystem in Australia. We have quite a number of other great visitors. I, I mentioned last month that we're launching uh, our uh, Greater Western Sydney Initiative. We had our launch event uh, in, uh, in July on the 29th uh, at a great uh, networking reception that evening in Deloitte's uh, wonderful offices above the train station in Parramatta. Our next event will be on the 23rd of August out in uh, the Sydney Olympic Park where one of our directors, Robert Reitbrook, the CEO of PepsiCo Australia and New Zealand, will be presenting to our members. Please sign up for that one. There's still space limited, but I believe it's going to be a sellout. And then, as I mentioned, uh, Ambassador John Barry, who has been a real AM champion during his three years in Australia. He's spoken to all of our chapters, except Brisbane, which he's going to correct by uh, by addressing the audience there on the 23rd of, of August. So please check our website uh, for these events and sign up uh, as quickly as possible as I'm sure that uh, space will become quite tight uh, for many of them. I'd also like to welcome all of our new members, most notably Apple uh, Australia, who is our newest premium member. That's our news for August. Uh, look forward to seeing you around and uh, wish you success in business and in life.